What's going on everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel where I help young professionals master their money so they can build their best life. In this week's video, I want to share with you how COVID-19 has got Bash and I really rethinking our spend on fitness. We'll discuss our pre and post COVID routines and share some of the cost cutting hacks that we've used and how our home gym has completely changed the way we view spending money on fitness. Stick around until the very end of the video because we're also going to share with you exactly how our old gym memberships were really costing us over 612,000 pounds throughout our lifetime. That's right, over half a million. Let's get started. both obsessed with our health and fitness and we make it an everyday priority in our lives. So coronavirus really put a spin into our everyday gym routine and this situation has really forced us to think outside of the box and come up with new ways to work out which in turn has given us some food for thought. We've kind of sat down and started talking about what is the cost and benefit of a gym membership. So to give you guys some insight, let's break down how much we were spending on gym fitness memberships before coronavirus. So I was spending about 120 pounds per month on a boxing gym membership to my local boxing club. And that's pretty standard price for anything half decent here in London. Whereas I'm obsessed with workout classes and my favorite by far is a spin class. So I had a monthly spin membership, which was running me about 165 pounds a month. And then I would usually go to other workout classes in different gyms, probably three to four times a month. And those on average cost 20 pounds a workout class. And then to top it off, I would usually pepper in one to two training sessions a month on the weekends. And those would run me at about 35 pounds a session. Putting that all together, I was spending roughly 315 pounds a month on gym memberships. That's not including the money that we'd spend on supplements or cool gym gear. I mean, you got to look fly, right? And we also dabbled in meal services for a bit and so on. Right. So at a bare minimum, we were spending a combined 435 pounds a month on fitness memberships or just a little over 5,000 pounds a year. Since the COVID crisis, we've canceled our gym memberships and put that money back in our pockets, but we're really still keen to stay fit and work out. So we've decided to reinvest that money into things around the house and create a few mini home gym experiences. Here's a look at some of the equipment we invested in. Two yoga mats, each costing 20 pounds, resistance bands to increase the intensity of body weight exercises. I got them off Amazon for about 12 pounds and there are lots of options to choose from. We both already had boxing gloves, but those retail on Amazon from anywhere from 15 to 30 pounds. We did however purchase some pads to do some pad work and this came in at about 20 pounds. Finally, I made the call to get a small set of weights and a bench. The weights came in at 65 pounds and the bench was about 30 pounds. So in total, our entire home gym setup cost us 217 pounds to get going. Now you definitely do not need all of this equipment. The equipment depends basically on what type of workouts you like to do. In reality, you may not need any equipment at all. Now let's get real. We live in a London flat, so we don't have a spare bedroom that we can just turn into a gym. So we had to get really creative with our space. We're also lucky that we do have a small garden, which we are trying to use for workouts, especially now in the summer. We use our living room and simply rearrange it to make more space when we want to work out. The weights are great as they unscrew and they're super easy to hide. We just put them under the linen cupboard in the living room. The rest of the equipment, we got inventive of where to hide it. So how do we get creative with our home workouts? Let's take a look. Yoga. We've created our personal yoga studio and recently discovered Yoga with Adrian. Free yoga classes on YouTube. Weight workout. I started creating circuits for Patrick and I to do. I found lots of exercise inspiration on Pinterest as well as on Instagram, all for free. I mean, poor Patrick. Body weight workouts. We use the bands a lot to increase resistance for the body weight workouts. 
But also we've gotten really creative using the furniture around the flat, like tricep dips on the couch. My favorite, boxing. We started doing a lot of pad work together, but given the tight space in our flat, we usually end up doing this in the park. And finally, running. We've recently started running to get the cardio up. The Nike app is awesome. It's got a ton of training programs and you can get a coach to motivate you on your run. It also tracks your metrics all for free. We've also looked at a Peloton bike, given that I'm seriously missing my spin classes. They have a great financing option out right now. You can pay off the bike over three years by paying 55 pounds a month at zero APR, meaning you're not going to get charged any interest. If you like the live classes, you can also submit to a monthly membership, which is about 39 pounds a month, which brings the total investment to about 94 pounds a month. Seems a little on the high end. Yeah, absolutely. But for someone like me who was attending spin classes three times a week, this would actually be saving me 71 pounds a month. Now you also don't need to go so fancy. You can opt out of the virtual classes and you can always choose a much more affordable bike. They also offer a free 30 day trial, which is a great way to test out the bike just in case you're not sure. And for us, space is the big option. So we're still weighing out if Peloton really makes sense for us or not. So now that we're working out at home and saving 435 pounds a month, what impact does this have on our financial future? Well, if we take 435 pounds a month and invest it into an index fund at 8% average annual return, over the next 30 years, that's gonna grow to 612,000 pounds. And we did mention this is only the tip of the iceberg. I know how much people spend on the gym clothes and the supplements and all that other stuff. For us, the decision to invest in a home gym came down to more than just finances. There was a few other factors involved. Like time. Yeah. We estimated that we spent about 90 minutes a day commuting to the gym and then back home. But also factor in things like packing your gym clothes and also showing up to the gym early to make sure you get the best spot in class. Now my commute is just one minute long. I jump out of bed, into my gym clothes, and down into the living room. I've calculated that I almost get 90 minutes a day of my life back. That translates to nine days a year. That's more than some people's entire annual holiday. The other thing was reduced wait time. Have you ever planned like the perfect workout routine the night before, only to arrive at the gym, and for whatever reason, everyone is after the exact same equipment, or there's that annoying person that is hogging the weight that you need, or again, it's just so busy that you just can't actually move around and do a good workout. It's happened to me so many times. Now I don't have to wait on anyone or do only half my routine or get so annoyed that I actually don't work out at all. We both believe that fitness is hugely important in our everyday lives, but we also are becoming more intentional with the way that we spend our fitness fund. If you love your gym membership and the experience, great, keep going. But for us, the home gym is costing us less, it's saving us time, and we're actually enjoying the workout experience more than before. That's a triple win for us. If you want to learn how to optimize your money to bring more joy to every area of your life, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you don't miss out on any content. I'll be dropping videos every single Wednesday and you don't want to miss it. Let us know in the comments section below if this video has got you rethinking the way you're going to spend your fitness fund. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Take care guys.